darling heart and welcome to this episode of the Drink Less, Live Better podcast. This is the podcast that helps you to see that drinking less doesn't need to be stressful, lonely or boring. I'm your host, Sarah Williamson, and I decided to have a year alcohol-free as a little life experiment and haven't looked back. I'm a best-selling author, expert speaker, corporate workshop facilitator and life coach. I'm here to support you with your alcohol-free or drink-less adventures. To keep up to date, be sure to follow me on Instagram at drinklesslivebetter and head to the website drinklesslivebetter.com where you will be able to sign up to the five-day Drink Less experiment, find blog posts and you can choose to join the email club where I share resources, wisdom, insights and glimmers of hope and joy. I hope you enjoy this episode. Let's get straight to it. The view from here. We're going to talk about climbing a mountain today. And first of all, we need to choose the mountain. Picture where you'd love to climb. Is it the Swiss Alps? in the spring with the beautiful flowers surrounding you in the landscape? Is it the Himalayas in winter? Are you up for the challenge? Is it a smaller mountain or a bigger mountain? Is it a mountain in isolation or a beautiful range? You've got a choice now. It's either you and me climbing the mountain together or you're on your own. I'm not offended if you choose to go alone. So first of all, let's consider what we need for the climb. You know I'm going to say, don't focus on the summit alone, don't you? You know I'm going to say, set your sights on a reasonable first climb point. But do feel free to focus on each and every step if you need to. We need to consider the equipment we're going to take. What do you need? What's essential and what's nice to have? Let's keep those packs as streamlined and light as we possibly can do. Next, it's important to master the maps. Pick a route and stick. Or if you deviate on purpose or by accident, Be okay with resetting. Who are you learning from? Who are you taking advice from? Or who are you following directly behind when you're on your way up your mountain path? Please tell me it is someone who is in front of you one way or another. I'm just checking. You know it would be crazy to take counsel from somebody sitting back in the classroom who'd never navigated out of their hometown, don't you? Speaking of which, did you know I actually have a lowland leader mountain training qualification? Fun fact, that's from a life I used to live. Anyway, we're not really climbing this mountain today. So we think about the climb and we're aware that there's cloud cover, we know there might be avalanches and crevices, but we're prepared for all of that. And we come to a ledge, and it seems like a perfect resting place. This is where we're going to pause today. We're taking in the view from here. And the view is such an important part of the climb, never overlook it. Things might have been hard, unexpected, emotionally draining. So stop for a bit. Take a breath. Look around. What do you see below? Is it a path hard won? Perhaps you can see where you've diverted, where you've had to retrace steps, and why you are now tired. In stopping, you have the chance to reflect on where you've come from. You get the chance to reconsider how you're going to proceed. And of course, you get to rest. 
So rest well, you've chosen this ledge. Sit, rest, enjoy. I'm guessing you know this is all nothing at all to do with climbing a mountain. This ascent is nothing to do with walking up a steep hill. This is life. This is personal. This is professional. It's all of it. The next set of decisions will always be around, are you coming back down? Is there another range tra- to traverse or a new landscape that you want to conquer? Mm. You'll need to take in that view when you get there as well. Thank you for listening in today. Come back again next week. I'd massively appreciate it if you could subscribe, rate and review the podcast. Well, do that if you love it. If you don't love it, please don't rate and review. Check out the show notes for a link to a hidden podcast episode that will help you with your 5pm cravings and details about my one-to-one life coaching and sober coaching programmes. And P.S. I believe in you. (laughs) 